Recently, the area of the drug pass was closed. It is only five hours by car from Ley. Even after centuries, these people still practice their very old traditions. In contrast to the rest of Ladakh, the Drogpas live in a very fruitful area. They have two harvests in four months of mainly barley, tomatoes and wheat. The area is also full of flowers which they use in their idol worship. But there isn't a lot of fruitful soil, so the eldest son is the only one to inherit the land, which happens on the day he gets married. His wife automatically becomes the wife of all his brothers. In this way, the land stays in the family and isn't divided up. The Drogpas are still cold towards the gospel and are not ready for the harvest yet. They are still completely unreached. The Drogpas farm with animals and grow crops to help them survive the long cold winter months. During the short summer months, tomatoes, apricots and nuts are dried on the roofs in preparation for the long winter. In spite of having enough water, the Drogpa don't bath often because they believe that they will wash off their luck. The Drogpas are lost, trapped in Buddhism and the worship of their own false gods. Even their jewelry is worn to honor Buddha. They grow flowers to wear on their heads every day to make the gods happy, to get riches and wisdom from the gods and protection from demons. According to their faith, the gods and humans used to live together in harmony. The harmony was broken so the gods decided to rather live in the heavens. The Drogpas dance to celebrate this separation but believe that one day in the dance they will be united again with their gods. Pray that their idol dance will be replaced by a praise dance for the true God.